one of the questions which I wonder about, and I think this is a question which a lot of people are wondering about, what is uh, the right medicine for us? Is it uh, a large contraction in the economy, which brings us closer to a lower inflation number, or a somewhat slower inflation, however, which does not take into account uh, a, a somewhat slower, lower rate, but that does not actually lead to the inflation going down all the way to 2%. Uh, this is a question. The Fed is, as you said, is trying to say that they will really bring it down to 2%. But does the market doesn't seem to be believing that to a certain extent. This will be quite important, ultimately in determining where the yield curve is and where the whole financial sector is going to make its money in. So what are your viewpoints about where the yield curve is? Well, if I knew the exact answer, boy, this would be a really valuable meeting. No, you know, (laughs) we we, we, we have invited experts. (laughs) Um, But I'll give you my view. My view is that this whole moment will be data dependent. Meaning, I think that there are going to have to be statistics that confirm that the back of inflation has been broken. And by by broken, I would define it as directional. Meaning, once you see the direction change and you see inflation starting to come in, I think the Fed is likely to simultaneously slow their, their campaign of tightening. And I think that's what's embedded in the 75 basis points going to 50. So I think that what the market participants are looking for is confirmation. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that bond market rally that you talked about that happened today is many investment dollars investing along the thesis that we're going to get that number soon. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so, uh, as you know, the most markets are predictive in nature. They're not real time. So if we start to get confirming numbers, I could see momentum around some of these rallies build. Mm 